this has been on my mind quite a bit lately. Some of you may or may not have seen a lot of these articles and news stories and videos on YouTube or any other platform talking about how men are dropping out of the workforce. They don't want to work normal jobs anymore or anything like that. They're just like, you know what? We're done. And in my personal opinion, it, it mainly leads to the American dream that is no longer a dream. It's, it's just a load of bullshit, especially since a lot of us men specifically have realized society does not give a shit about us. If we're sick, injured, or if you pass away, I, th I think the only time a man really gets praise for all the things he has accomplished throughout his lifetime and really gets his flowers isn't until he dies. As much as I really hate saying that, I mean, the truth is the truth and it needs to be said. Because when you have a combination of things going on at the same time right now, like jobs not wanting to pay, um, you know, Americans you know, a livable wage, as a lot of people would say, because you have a lot of uh, undocumented or illegal aliens coming into this country that are taking those exact same jobs that Americans would have had and paying them significantly less money under the table to do the same job. That way, that employer's company can make a larger profit. And you also have those who went to school, got their degree in this, that, or whatever, and now they really can't find much work in that field, even if it's a field where there's supposed to be work available, you know, those individuals who are in massive student loan debt because they've been told that, oh, you have to get your degree in, you know, in this, that, and the third in order to get the great jobs because people with degrees are making more money. And at least that's what they've been led to believe. Even that's what I've been led to believe at one point. But thankfully, I did not go to any major university. I was never really interested in going to a college like that because. Unless I was going to go for a, a STEM field or anything like that, I just didn't see the point of going. And what really woke me up to that and, you know, let me know that I made the right decision was reading the book called Worthless by Aaron Clary. I highly recommend that book for anyone, uh, you know, thinking of going to college or anything or going to a trade. Definitely read that book before you make your final decision. Because in my humble opinion, there's no reason to go into massive student loan debt over something and you can't even find work in that field. So what the hell are you getting that degree for? Also, another thing I wanted to touch on is the fact that a lot of guys or a lot of men grow up, you know, being told they're not needed, they're not wanted, you know, just shut up, put your head down, work, and don't ever complain about anything, don't ever talk about your problems, don't ever do this, don't ever do that, and it's causing a lot of men to become depressed and feeling very alone. Fortunately for me specifically, I got, you know, good people that are that I surround myself around and talk to on a regular basis. Make sure I never get into that funk because I, I came damn near close to that at one point in my life, but I'm so glad that I did. I mean, hell, before COVID, I was working, you know, several dead end jobs that I tried moving up the ladder in, especially my UPS job. You know, at that point, I, when I tried to move up the ladder, I mean, like be a supervisor and things like that, you, I learned very quickly that that, that just wasn't going to happen. Oh, and trying to be a driver? Yeah, forget it because you're in line with like several other people trying to do the same thing. And there's not going to be a lot of spots open because there's the people who have been doing that for a very long time and they do not want to retire. And I honestly don't blame. Them. And all that that I just explained led has led to a lot of men deciding, you know what, I might just learn to trade crypto or trade stocks or something or learn something I, that I can do, like post videos online or things like that and stay completely out of the workforce because it is just not worth me running in a or excuse me, it's not worth, you know, any guy um, just running in this endless rat race trying to chase something that not even 5% of individuals can achieve. And this has been going on for quite some time. This is nothing new at all. It's just that I find it wild how mainstream media just now really wants to shine the light on it when this has been going on for quite some time. And now it seems like they're trying to scramble to figure out a way to get men back into the workforce. And in my humble opinion, it's two minutes too late. Men would rather just sit at home, chill, just trade a few stocks, maybe learn how to fix some computers or just do a bunch of side hustles instead of going back to punch the clock again at a company that doesn't give a shit about them. And another thing, I think it's at the point of uh, beyond repair because a lot of guys are probably finding a lot more happiness just sticking it to the, staying with themselves, excuse me, just staying with themselves and just doing their own thing instead of just going back to the old traditional, you know, you go in, you work a job 30 years, you get promoted or get pensions and all that stuff. That's Those days are over with. You guys let me know what you think about this down below in the comment section. Let's talk about it.